Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of Annie's Smoking Pot. Today, we are going to make chicken fried rice. <laughs> you can't see it, but if you noticed in the last video, I kept looking this direction, so my husband literally just pointed at that camera like, hey, look here. So that's where I'm now looking. So anyway, we are going to make chicken fried rice. I've got everything prepped already because um, I haven't said anything about it before, but I do have a very rare disability. So I'm only able to stand for about 20 minutes before I have to sit and be done for a while. So I've done all this prepping, including the prepping for the chicken for this recipe. So we're gonna cut away and I'm gonna show you how I prepped that because you're gonna wanna start there anyway because you're gonna wanna let that marinate for that 15 minutes while you prep everything else for this recipe. So go check that out and then we'll come back. All right, let's go ahead and get this chicken prepped. First thing you're gonna do is you've got a chicken breast. We just wanna slice that in half because you want it to be thinner when we slice for the chicken fried rice. Then what you wanna do is you wanna go against the grain of it so that it's tender when you cook it. And you wanna do it in thin slices. And you wanna cut it about like that, just thin little slice. Okay, now, once you've got all that done, you wanna wash the chicken. Don't ask me why, you just do. I've tried it washed, I've tried it unwashed. It's not quite as tender. Now, because I'm covered in salmonella, Ebola, whatever we determined I'm getting, my husband's gonna reach over and turn that water on for me. <laughs> cold water, always rinse with cold water, and you only wanna rinse for about, about 30 seconds. Now you're gonna add this to a bowl. So to this chicken, you are gonna add just a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and you wanna massage that in. And then to this, you are now going to add half a teaspoon of light soy sauce in there. This one here, this is a combination of a half a teaspoon sugar, half a teaspoon cornstarch, quarter teaspoon kosher salt. You're gonna sprinkle that in there. And then you're gonna add just a one teaspoon of a neutral oil, because you don't want the flavor of the oil, you just want the texture of the oil. You're gonna massage that in, make sure it's all incorporated really well. That's it, let's go back to cook some rice. Hey, welcome back, look at that miracles. So let's go ahead and get this started. Now I am using a wok. This is actually the first time I'm using my wok. So it'll be kind of, it'll be a tester for all of us. So I've got this fired up to 1800 on my induction or medium high heat. You want to add about a tablespoon of a neutral oil. You want to get that oil nice and hot and then you're going to kind of swirl it around in the pan, but you want to swirl it around until it's kind of shimmery. So we'll just kind of swirl it this way so it stops beeping at me. We want to get that scorching hot because the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add two eggs that have been lightly beaten with a little salt and a little pepper. We're going to cook that up, pull that out of the pan, and then go on to the chicken. So I think we're good. So we're going to go ahead and add our two beaten eggs and let that cook up. Now, you don't want to cook the eggs completely. You wanna get them to about 95% done because you're gonna pull them out, but you are gonna put them back in at the end. So they're gonna to continue to cook just a little bit more. So we're just gonna give these a nice little scramble in here. And being that I am cooking at such a high heat right now, it does go really fast. So there we go. That is about 95% done. So I'm gonna pull those out now. Don't wanna leave any of the residue of the egg in your wok because it will burn and we don't want any little brown bits. Fire it back up. So just reduce your temperature a little bit. You're gonna add about another tablespoon of that oil and we're gonna get our chicken going. Throw that in there. Now again, this, you wanna cook it till it's about 95% done because it will go in again near the end. It also, when you pull it out of here, that residual heat that it holds, it will continue to cook. If you overcook it, like I said last video, it's chicken breast and nobody likes a dry breast, nobody. So like I said, I kind of touched on it a little bit that I do have a disability. It's called Al Capitanaria or AKU for short. Feel free to Google it. So I've had two new shoulders, a new hip, a new knee, I'm in line to get another new knee, but my Achilles tendon is having issues. And that's in four years. Four years I've had all that done, but it's okay because I still love cooking and I'll keep doing it. 
Oh yeah, I've also had a ruptured quad tendon that I ruptured simply climbing out of bed. I used to be a glorious six feet tall. I am now down to five eight. So luckily my husband likes short women. Well, he does now. <laughs> All right, that chicken is looking good. Oh, sometimes I wish you could smell what I'm smelling. Oh, it smells so good. Can you see that color we got going on there? So now we are going to go ahead and pull this out. Unlike the egg, I'm not going to worry about the little bits of chicken that are in there. That's quite all right. Oh, last time, I swear. Last time, I swear. I don't know. I keep looking at the light pointing because I just, I just ran to look everywhere. <laughs> everywhere so we're gonna go ahead and add our last tablespoon of oil to that pan now everything's gonna go crazy oh you can hear that can't you so now to the oil we're gonna add our carrots the recipe is in the description below so it will tell you exactly how much of everything I've got here we're also gonna add our diced onions we're gonna add our garlic okay and then I've got two cups of pre-cooked rice. I cooked this rice up yesterday because I have found that day old rice, you put it in the refrigerator obviously, works so much better for fried rice than fresh rice. And it is a two to one mixture of basmati rice or any long grain rice and jasmine rice. So we're gonna give that a stir here. We just wanna break up the bits of um, rice that kind of get clumped together just a little bit there. To that, we are going to add our egg and our chicken back in. And if it starts to look like it's getting a little too dry, you can add just a little bit more oil, but you don't want to add the liquid directly into the rice because it kind of clumps up and you'll get more flavor than in one spot than another. So you're going to take your liquid and you're just going to kind of go around the edges. Once you get that wet ingredient incorporated in there, dry spice blend, this, it doesn't matter. You just sprinkle it willy nilly over the top, which is perfectly, perfectly fine. So we're gonna sprinkle this just all around. And you're also gonna add a handful of bean sprouts. To that, you're gonna just give that another little stir ski here. Incorporate that a bit more. But now you wanna deglaze the pan because you just kinda get little bits of stuff around the edges. So in order to do that, we're just gonna kinda move it aside. And we've got a white cooking rice wine. It's, um, yeah, rice wine, rice cooking wine. Rice cooking wine? I had to make sure it wasn't my sesame oil. And that, I'm just gonna deglaze the pan with that. I'm going to add in our diced green onion, sweet peas, you can use fresh or frozen peas if you like. I don't like frozen peas, they're icky. And then your sesame oil, and you're just gonna drizzle that. That's it. That is chicken fried rice. Let me just dish some of this up so you can see how that looks. I'm just gonna dump that in there. Doesn't have to be pretty. What? Just tasty. And that's it. That is chicken fried rice. Quick, simple, delicious. I'm sure it's full of nutrients. It's definitely full of sodium. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. All right.